oke Oh, no, Roland. Yes. Yeah, but I have to lay in the water. Come on. 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 Come Well. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. So guys, now we are walking on a moraine. Can you see that? Here we have... <coughs> well, you might think it's just frozen sand, but you are already on the glacier. So welcome on the glacier. Oh, now we can head back. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, then you just sink slowly in a different bed. <laughs> but it's always good to have a very good helmet because we can always pull you up there. frozen and then mix in it becomes it becomes wider and deeper and finally of course then it cuts through the permafrost ice as well so are you ready yeah, yeah. all right we always have some people behind <laughs> cannot this is where you come on here so who are with me here are you all here yes good man good me okay Come Gummy is a lot easier. <laughs> Gummy, yeah. All right. Let's hold it for a second while they get here. Can I show you what I did? Did you think? Like he said, is um, it's changing constantly, and like I mentioned, it's melting really fast, and that's why I'm, I'm gonna, and he grabbed an ice axe with him because we might need to choose a lot of steps or such. So uh, yeah. And with the crampon, uh, the, with the uh, spikes, just try to 
take like a little bit of a heavy, heavier step than normally because you want to get a little bit of a grip. These are not maybe uh -huh. uh, like big crampons like uh, if you go glacial hiking, you need the inch long spikes, yeah. which is uh, yeah, the alpine standard. But yeah, <laughs> you go to okay. the wrong room. <laughs> He's in wrong the wrong room. room. Well, let's just get going. <laughs> He's going too far. You see this this part of the boat actually gets up to being around 700 years old. Yeah, and that's the furthest and the lowest part. I don't know if you know how places actually work, but the places form up with snow on the top. Then the big chunk of ice that I mentioned is mine in the beginning of the day. So pushing down on itself and squeezing up. And then we're one of those outlets. In one of them. And we're actually located right next to where the half lap volcano is. And because of that, we have all the ash. And you can see distinctive layers of ash in the ice that actually form up when the volcano is off. It distributes a layer on top of the ice. Then snow comes out on that. Then that is pressing down into the top. Then we get these distinctive lines. And that's also why we get a ton of ice from ash outside. Because I stole the white, but the ash is still there. And with how the glacier actually forms, this ice here, it's not frozen water. This is frozen water, you can see that. That's frozen water. This is good. This is like the ice that we have a freezer. A freezer. Um, but this ice that surrounds us in the ceiling and everything, this is compressed snow. Yeah, so it means that it's a lot denser and that's how we get this figure out it's super clear. There's a little bit of frosting on the outside of the mountain like that. Yeah. And if you look, like I can see from here on that part, and all of the ice, there's small air bubbles in it. And that is how we see what's in the atmosphere here up to a certain degree. Yeah. But they also do that in the poles and that's where they get some of the you want to see the color? No. Hmm. It's blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Many times since the settlement of Iceland, so it's yeah, it's fairly active and it's really big. But over the last millennia, it has gone off every 15 to 95 years. Yeah, um, and the last time it erupted was in 1918. So we're overdue. <laughs> but that doesn't mean anything because it's only a thousand years. A thousand years for a volcano, that's like a day for us. Yeah, but it's actually been kind of... It's sl sleeping basically and it's kind of... Daddy, careful, Daddy. Papi, jangan lupa macam ni. 
לא, לא רבה. Yeah, it was Katla, and then we had like 40 kilometers of sea ice covering all of Reykjavik, and we got the Spanish flu, so it was, oh, it was not the greatest year in the world, but, but for, for history, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good lesson. But the thing is, like, the difference between, like, a lot of movement and it's like two things that it could possibly be. Could I